This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Bushes and Clintons to attend Trump inauguration despite bad blood. By Alex Pappas and Gabby Morongiello. The Clintons and Bushes will attend Donald Trump's inauguration after all, despite their bad blood with the president-elect. Former President Bill Clinton, 2016 Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, former President George W. Bush and former First Lady Laura Bush all plan to attend the inauguration ceremonies January 20, it was announced Tuesday. There had been widespread speculation that Hillary Clinton and her husband would skip the swearing-in of her former Republican opponent after the particularly nasty presidential race. Clinton suffered a bruising defeat in the November election that few saw coming and has kept a low profile, with the exception of previously scheduled public speaking engagements, since delivering her concession speech on November 9. The former Secretary of State and her husband maintained a personal relationship with the president-elect and incoming First Lady Melania Trump in the years leading up to 2016, though their friendship was quickly dismantled over the course of the election cycle. Trump and Clinton exchanged sharp barbs during their one-on-one -on -one debates and sought to paint each other as corrupt and unfit to serve as commander-in-chief. In the two months since Trump's victory, Clinton backed vote recounts in a trio of battleground states she lost and urged intelligence officials to brief electors on Russia's cyber activity ahead of the Electoral College vote on December 19. George and Laura Bush's announcement that they will attend Trump's inauguration comes after refusing to support the incoming Republican leader during the general election. Both declined to vote for Trump or Clinton in November. A spokesman for the couple confirmed they each voted none of the above for a president and for Republicans on the rest of the Texas ballot. The 43rd president appeared on the campaign trail last February after Trump unleashed a series of attacks against him for invading Iraq in 2003 and against his brother, Jeb, whom Trump famously branded as low energy during the Republican primary. Trump spoke briefly with Bush after his surprising election victory in November. According to a statement, the Bushes look forward to witnessing the peaceful transfer of power during the inaugural ceremonies. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.